For today's video, I'd like to share more information about our house in the Philippines. For sure, after Kuba mentioned that maybe you guys also have some questions, I'd like to share a very detailed information, especially about the expenses in building this house. So I'm very excited about this right now. So just a background story before discussing about the expenses. I know from the last video, Kuba mentioned about that this house is our family house, which is true. Right now, the people that are left in our house is just my two younger brothers and my sister with her husband and kids since they're the ones as well taking care of our younger brothers. It's really common in the Philippines that families are living together like that. So if you guys have questions in the future, if we are we going to live together with my family? The answer is actually no. This house is actually already a family house, but the land is also mine. It is a very long story. This property was bought by my parents and they have been paying the land for so many years. However, my parents were not able to pay it fully up until my mother passed away. No one in my family could pay the partial amount of the of the land. I and my siblings knew that it's only me and for over three years and i finally paid it before i came here in czechia the title of the land is under my name i asked the lawyer regarding with this if it's possible to have this land under my name even if i still have siblings and it should be my mother's name as long as your siblings will agree to it so i asked all of them they all agree. Before we decided that we are gonna move out to the Philippines, me and Kuba were also talking about our plans. First thing Kuba said, what if you will rent? But I was also thinking that I don't really like putting up money on renting and in the future, we don't own it. It's like a waste of money. For example, the rent costs approximately 10,000, 15,000 per month. That's already too much. So 10,000 per month for over like one year. I think that's a lot. So I told Kuba, what if we do some kind of investments it would be nicer if we can put up a money onto something that we can have or we can own in the future what if we are going to repair our house and if we don't like to maybe stay in that house forever and maybe we can sell it in the future very nice for us so we have our own house rather than just renting in the Philippines and also I don't like renting renting is not really my thing especially if you're gonna rent it in Cebu City or some places because I am scared first and foremost Cebu City is prone to fire security is really not that tight it's really nice living in this village because he's a village boy and he loves provinces so it's also beneficial for him rather than living in a city. Me and Kuba are very excited in the future to live there and to finally finish the house. We are not sure yet if we're gonna finish it fully once we are, well, we are here or we are gonna continue it once we are already in the Philippines. But for now, I'm gonna share about the expenses, how much we already spent for this house so for you guys to know as well the cost of materials in building a house in the philippines so these are the lists of the materials and please take note that the prices of these materials varies depending on the location and for you to understand as well these materials kuba and i decided to build a trusses roof type as our house way back then was built out of wooden ceiling so there were a lot of disadvantages especially during typhoons <laughs> it was flying all over the place since it is also very humid in the philippines there were times that our house was very moldy and this is also the thing that kuba and i doesn't want to happen in the future so that's the reason for over two months of working the overall expenses for building our house is 118,000 that includes the salary, materials, as well as the snacks of your workers. Because in the Philippines, it is required that you should provide free snacks twice a day and free lunch to your workers. It's not under the law, however, that's already part of our Filipinos' mindset. However, if you don't want to follow those things, you need to make their salary higher. Example, 
For your welders or muslins, you're paying them ranges from 650 pesos to 800 pesos per day. If they don't have free snacks and free lunch, you have to add. For laborers or assistants of the main worker, most of them having this salary from 550 to 750 pesos. But this salary varies depending on the location. So in our house, we had four workers because we needed a welder to build the, build the trusses. I had my three brothers who work with me since they are also experienced about construction working. 118k is already a lot. If you're going to decide to build a house in the Philippines with a 70 square meters made out of woods, that amount is already more than enough. But since we decided to build trusses, that's the reason why as for now, we were only able to install the roof, uh, finally build the trusses, as well as piling the hollow blocks. Since we decided to make our house higher, however, I would say that we also saved a lot. It's because if you're going to build a house in the Philippines, it should be 50-50. For example, you're having 200,000 budget for your materials. The budget for your salaries should be 200,000 pesos as well however 118,000 that's for, for over two months we should have spent a lot but since I have my two older brothers we were able to save for the salary we didn't ask for any salary so Kuba and I were actually very grateful for that and like we were able to ask our family to manage our house they're really helping us a lot up until now and if you guys are asking how does our house look like after it is done, so I'm gonna flash the inspiration look. I didn't hire architects. I just found this picture through Pinterest. And I also joined Facebook groups asking people how much we could spend for this kind of design and as well as the size of the house. And there are a lot of people who could really help you whenever you have questions. It is free to ask it. I was doing some research and I decided I would not hire architects or engineers because I know there are a lot of people as well even if they are not registered professionals but they know the job a lot they are also very experienced for so many years and I know some people in my village so I decided just to ask them and I checked to them if what are those um, projects they have done I was doing some survey and I finally found a person and it is also very important for you to investigate first before hiring I'm not saying all but there are also other people that you can trust to especially if they know that you are a foreigner or I have a foreigner husband they might use this against you asking more salary from you or they're gonna make the job very slow so it is very important to also know the person and know their character and we know that building our house is still a very long journey. We just started and there are a lot of things that needs to be done. However, Kuba and I are very positive that one day, we could finally be able to see our hard work while working our ass off here in Czechia. And we could finally be able to move in to the Philippines. There are a lot of things that we want to accomplish when we are there. And of course, we would like to have our YouTube as part of our growth as well when we are in the Philippines. We are also very excited to show it with you guys of our adventures, discoveries, especially for Cuba. So that's all for today's video. If you have questions, please drop it down in the comment section. We are always ready to answer those questions. And thank you so much for taking your time in watching our videos and especially for your support. See you again next time.